Hey everybody, it's Marshall Mark here. This is one of my best friends whenever, Sid and Shelby Strike Back Top 5 Moments video. Now, the thing is, this is not aired on TV yet, so obviously major spoilers coming ahead um, since it hasn't aired. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my Top 5 uh, Moments video, so if you do want to hear spoilers about the episode before the episode airs, then this is kind of the video. I know it's kind of weird, like, doing a spoiler video, but some people do spoiler videos, I guess, so... Hmm. Oh well. But let's get started with my top five moments. So here we go. Let's get started. Number five. Barry and Marcy's love story. So yes, Marcy is back. Now I was actually kind of wondering when Marcy would get back on Best Friends Whenever. I thought that when the promos and trailers came out for Best Friends Whenever that Marcy, obviously she was in all the trailers. So I thought she was going to be a main character like everybody else. Turns out she's not. She's just a guest character. I didn't know that. I assumed that she was going to be a big part of the show. Um, she was even in the pilot too, so I didn't know, but, yeah, she's been gone for a long time, so I'm glad that she's back in this, uh, episode, um, or episodes, I guess you could say, I don't know, um, there are two parts, but they're in together as one episode, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, so she's back, I'm excited for this, I'm glad that she is back, um, and she has a big story when she comes back, the Barry and, uh, Marcy love story. I don't know, I kind of shipped these two together, I'm not really sure how I feel about them yet. We'd probably have to have a little bit more, you know, like, we'd probably have to see more of the story before I can say if I like them together or not. They, they seem really great together, and Barry Test and I had this experiment if, if their relationship was all about science or not. It wasn't, um, so that's obviously, you know... It, they're, they like each other, obviously. It's gonna get really exciting down the road. I think this is a really cool thing, and I'm excited to see what they have to offer for maybe future things. I don't know. Maybe it can be like a Girl Meets World, Smarkle, sm Smarkle. Actually, that makes sense. Smarkle. Smackle, Farkle, and then like a, like a Mary? Or a Barcy. Let's say Barcy. No, let's say like, I don't even know. Barcy, I guess. We could say Barcy. But this was really cool. So on to number four. Number four, the origin story of Janet Smythe. So every villain needs a good origin. Obviously, Janet Smythe has one. So she basically, basically created wireless technology um, in her garage, I guess you could say, like in her lab when she was way younger. We already have met Janet Smythe in, you know, past episodes. Um, really great that they had this origin. Like, really great that they came up with this way to give her an origin story. And that way they could kind of make more sense of this villain, because she is a really good villain. Like, this episode has proven that Best Friends Are Never can have a villain, and not, like, Disney shows don't usually have those. They don't have a villain that comes throughout the whole season. Janet has been off and on throughout the season. So, like, I think she, we only have seen her in two episodes. So, like, the episode that we saw her before in, in uh, Globo Digidine, now this episode. So, ba technically, it's not throughout the whole season, but... It's more than another than other Disney shows have had a villain. If you count Mrs. Chesterfield from Jesse, but I don't count that. Um, so yeah, Janet Smythe got an origin, and the girls go back in time and stop her origin from coming true. Um, which basically just go, which basically leads on to my number three. So let's just talk about number three. Number three, the girls go back in time and stop Janet's experiment, and it creates a total crazy ripple effect, crazy wave. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, so this was basically the moment where it was a big deal because they went back in time and changed something huge. Like, they changed the future itself and basically created a different timeline. And in this timeline, it's way worse than the one they originally thought, that they originally lived in. Whereas, one, Janet moved into Shelby's old house because Shelby lived in Alaska. Uh, Sid lived in Peru with her parents, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and then... Barry to, and Barry and Aldo don't know Shelby, uh, as, like, they kind of knew her, but they didn't, like, know, know her, like, you know, originally. Um, what else is there? Like, it's just a crazy timeline. It's a crazy timeline. Marcy and Barry have to re, like, they redo the whole Marcy thing with Barry, except it's, like, a different story of how they met, or not met, but, like, how they liked each other, how they knew that they liked each other. Um, we saw three different types of those. Um, and then, let's see what else happened. Hmm... I think that's pretty much it for all the big changes that we've seen um, throughout the whole timeline that they created. But yeah, they end up going and finding out that Janet Smythe is even bigger as a villain in this timeline than the other one. Because she um, takes down like Shelby, Shelby and Sid and ties them up. And she ties up Marcy, Barry, and Naldo as well. Um, so yeah, it, it just got really crazy. And then leads on to my number two, and then on to my number one. 
Number two, Sid and Shelby versus Janet Smythe. Okay, so this was actually a really cool fight scene. Like, it's like, not really a fight scene. Actually, like, I take that back. It's not a fight scene. But, it's still kind of the whole versus thing. So, like, Sid ends up going into the machine that Janet created, obviously, we know that. And then Shelby ends up going after her, and the lasers go, there's lasers. Obviously, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about, because you haven't seen it yet. And this is a spoiler video, so I should probably explain it a little bit more. Okay, lasers, okay, so, I can't even explain it. But basically what goes on is that there's these lasers in Janet's new lab in this alternate timeline. I haven't, I had to, I haven't even explained it yet. And it, the lasers shoot after uh, Shelby, and they're stun lasers, and then she ends up, uh, trying to get Sid out, because remember in the promo and the trailer and all that junk, we see Sid kind of like laying there like she's dead. Obviously, Sid cannot die. I mean, it's a Disney show for one, and two, that the show would be over. So I don't think they plan on putting the show. I think they plan for a season two. Um, I don't know. Like, a lot of people are bashing Best Friends whenever. I really do. I mean, it's not the best Disney show that they've ever created, but it's still good. I still, I'm intrigued by what's going on, like, especially in this episode. So, like, I really hope that it gets another season because I really like what they're doing with time travel. I really like how they're kind of approaching it, um, and also kind of, like, exploring it a little bit because not a lot of shows, for kids at least, do that. Like, we all know The Flash, like, that's an example. Time travel's on that show. It's a little bit more complicated than that, and not a lot of kids that watch Best Friends and Ever, like, 10 to 12 years old, or maybe even, like, me, like, 15, like, all these ages don't really watch some shows. So if they're watching Best Friends and Ever, they can still get that whole time travel thing, and they learn more about time travel, kind of, in Disney's way, I guess. I don't know. But it's just a big deal. But anyway, I'm intrigued by the show, so I hope it doesn't get cancelled. But anyway, back to Sid. Sid ends up, um, getting out of there, and getting out of the machine. She's not dead. And then she takes down, helps take down Janet, which is really cool as well. And then I time travel back, which leads on to my number one. Number one. I said that kind of weird. Number one. <laughs> number one. The girls end up changing back to their original timeline, except there's a little bit of a change in between those timelines. So what I'm talking about here is that, and for my number one, is that they change the timeline, but they don't exactly change it back to the original timeline. Because if they would, they wouldn't have had Janet find tachyon particles. You guys remember in the Shake Your Booty special, the whole 70s thing, Barry and Naldo find tachyons. The same thing happened here in this episode with Janet. Now, Barry used the tachyons to find out more things and for good causes, to create teleportation, all that jazz. But Janet's obviously going to use it for evil, so she finds the tachyons. So there's still an imprint change in the timeline. It's not the original timeline. Um, if it was the original, that wouldn't have happened. It's cause, you know, because now Janet has a way to use tachyons for her own game. So, or gain? Is it gain or is it game? How does that, how does that expression work? I don't know, I'm weird. But anyway, um, so they didn't exactly change it back to the original timeline because something else happened in that present that they've created with tachyons. So we're gonna have to find out what that is exactly. So they've kind of changed the imprint. Like, it's kind of the same timeline, except they imprinted it just a little tiny bit different. So we're gonna have to wait and see what that butterfly effect changes with Janet. Like, what's gonna happen with her and the tachyons. I don't know, will she create like, replicate the power to time travel, what's going to go on with Janet. So I'm actually really liking this. Overall, this was a really great, um, special. I think that I really like this episode. So one of the things that Best Friends Whenever has been doing correctly is time travel. I feel like the time travel elements, especially when they do the big dramatic episodes like these, are really working for them. Like, one of the highlights, let's go on to highlights, highlights is that they actually might lose their power if, like, outside of their own time zone. Remember when they went back to the 70s? Well, this time they went back before they were born again, and they used their powers over and over, and it almost drained their power. So I'm actually really intrigued to find out more about that. Like, comment down below, what do you guys like the best? The regular Best Friends Whenever episodes, where it's just, like, the comedic, obvious Disney episode, or the big dramatic episodes where they explore their powers and kind of learn more about them. I'm actually liking the whole dramatic episodes, because we have, like, the whole... Just, it, it feels like a drama. It's like previously on Best Friends Whenever, and it does all this thing, and like there's a villain, and there's an actual thing going on. And it's not like it's a regular Disney episode. I feel like, I really like the dramatic episodes that they're having. So comment down below if you guys agree. Um, another highlight is that when Barry dressed up, Barry dressed up, tried to dress up as Marcy, and I actually put this on my Twitter. Barry tried to dress up as Marcy, but actually kind of looked more like Penelope from The Amanda Show. 
But if you want to see that photo, go to my Twitter. And speaking of my Twitter, follow my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, and blog channel. Oh, wait, that was weird. Um, links down below. Um, other videos, other bonus videos are up there, as well as some other videos that I've recently made. And, yeah, those are my top five moments for best friends whenever. Um, I think I've covered everything pretty well. Yeah, so hopefully, guys, you like this spoiler video. It's not coming out until the 27th, so this is a big spoiler video for you guys. Um, but anyway, like it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.